play entitled The Dead Man. And now I'd like to present, no, 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 no. I'd like to present to you now, get down. I'd like to present to you now, moving right along. This is none other than a moment of interest and pain. There comes a moment in every performer's life and they must seek out some form of consciousness. Follow some inner awareness. I'd like to bring to you a man who's broadcasting throughout the United States today. None other than from Billy Graham's Rock and Roll Circus in Austin, Texas. He used to be a rock and roll star until he decided to become a religious nut and get a piece of the action. He owns a wall in Wyandotte where all his followers can beat their heads against it. They're called thump heads. This is none other than the beloved Reverend Oral Bob. <laughs> to laugh when there's a joke. Uh. <laughs> Tonight I'm here to talk you about when I was a man, when I was a man, when I was a man, when I was a before I came to little Oroba. I used to be a gambler. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to go out with girls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this is a story when I was a gambler, I was a gambler down in Sin City, Las Vegas. I went down to Sin City, Las Vegas. I went down to the game. I believe, I believe too, brother. I went down to the game and I was standing the crap holding a weapon of green in my hand. Made 11 passes when a young lady walked up to me and said, Good time. I said, what's it going to cost? She said, $50. I said, $50 for a good time. She said, $50. I said, I got $150 for three good times. I believe you. Me and that city woman went down that city because he's not sitting in the city hallway. I said, I'm going to sit in the elevator. I walked in the city hallway. I walked in the elevator. I walked in the hallway. I walked in the hallway. I walked in the bedroom. I walked in the city bedroom. I saw that city bed. I laid down in the city bed. I took my city clothes. I took my city bed. Me and her laid down there. And all of a sudden, I saw my kingdom come. Hallelujah. here tonight because I'm looking for a man who wants to make a testimony or a woman who wants to come over here tonight and have the horn of life took down on his head and be healed. Be healed. Is there one man here who would like to have his testimony tonight on Oral Bob Show? Son, oh, help the man up here. Son, come up here. Hello. What's your name, son? I'm Brother Firestone Bob. Brother Firestone, you want to be healed? Yes, Bob, I want to be healed. What's wrong with you? Well, Bob, it was back in the big one, WW2. Yeah. And 
And there was Germans to the left of me. Germans to the left of you? Yeah, and there was Japanese to the right of me. Bye. Prime, yeah? Yeah, and, and I was pinned down in a pox hole, yeah. and then up over that hill comes a Hell's Angel. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a Hell's Angel. Hell's Angels, World War II. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll be dead. Yes. Well, anyways, this one, he was a particular mean sucker. He drove that motorcycle right up and parked it right on my leg, and there she laid for the last 30 years. You mean, Johnny, you got, a, you got a motorcycle on your leg? That's right, Bob. You got a motorcycle on your leg, brother? That's right, Bob. You want to be healed? <laughs> I want to be healed, Bob. You got to trust in me. You believe in me? You believe in the Lord? Yeah, Look, I believe, me I believe. Look me in the eye. Look closer. <laughs> Don't you ever pick your nose? You got a big booger here. Like that. Not get up here. Son, I want you to lean on me. Let me place my hand on your head. You're going to have to help me with this brother. We're going to get him cured. I want you all to help me by saying, if you feel, you are healed. Ready? If you feel, you are healed. Uh, I can feel balls right here in your pants. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> help me get one. If you feel, you're healed. If you feel, you're healed. You feel something? I think I feel something. He's kick sucking that. He's kick starting that bob. Okay. Come on, one more time. If you feel, you're healed. If you feel, you're healed. Son, you feel it? Uh, bob, I think I feel something. Bob, Bob, I can crawl, Bob, I can crawl. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, right there, a miracle. Thank you. Hallelujah. There's only one reason why I'm here tonight, and that reason is this, that reason is this, because just last week at Billy Graham's Rock and Roll Circus down in Austin, Texas, all of a sudden the sky split open. Woo! The clouds separated. Whoosh! And a big giant hand came down from the sky. Boom! It came creeping towards me, or old Bob. It came closer, it came closer, it came right up to you and went, uh! And it was the Lord. And the Lord said, Oh, Mom! <laughs> is that you, Lord? Unfortunate me! Who was out of doubt? Yes, Lord, what is it? I want you to spread the word. And the word is this. Christmas is on its way. Christmas is coming up again. But let me tell you something about Christmas. Let me tell you something about Christmas. Let me tell you something about Christmas. Christmas ain't all that shit you hang on your Christmas tree. Uh-uh. Christmas ain't all those presents you're worrying about getting. Uh-uh. Uh, uh. Christmas is the birth of the baby of Jesus. Christmas is the birth of the baby of Jesus. What's Christmas? The baby of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Talk about Jesus. Hashish. Hashish.